Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sh showing you guys how to make a custom team selector for your maps like Zone Wars or Box Fights. So, uh, I'm gonna be using um, all these right here as like kind of like a bio Zone Wars. So, real quick, I'm just gonna do this as my as a little area. I'm not gonna do too much because what's the point but yeah you guys can get this from the um, galleries tab all the way at the bottom but yeah I'm just gonna create this real quick and you guys can just select the floor to make this a little quicker like that so now uh, you guys are gonna just put these like that like I said I'm gonna go for like a, a bio zone wars kind of thing so yeah just like that um now with this little area right here, this is where we're gonna have the team selectors. So I already have mine pre-made right here, as you guys can see. Um, let's see. So I think that's like that. Uh, we can adjust that right now. So I'm just gonna move stuff like that move the billboard that I had set up and everything and uh, the teleporter we're gonna move outside because what we're gonna do we're just gonna create little boxes with this actually we're gonna need that for right now so we're just gonna have that to the side so this is gonna be team one right here what you guys are gonna need is a class selector player counter a billboard if you guys want um and a teleporter uh, it's pretty simple now for the settings so for the teleporter you guys are just gonna put teleporter group on none none teleporter rift visible no play visual sound effects no play sound effects no for the billboard you guys are gonna put this uh team one centered the biggest text size 24 white Burbank or Robo, either one, or Noto Sands, but I like um, I like Burbank. Um, we put outline on thick and shadow on lower right, <coughs> like that. For the player counter, you guys are gonna want to put target player count is gonna be one, base color is going to be blue um, and success color use zone is on zone shape is cylinder zone visible during game yes zone width 0.8 and depth 0.8 for the class selector this is going to be class to switch to no class team to switch to this is going to be team one time to switch one second size of volume four volume visible in game off and visible during game is off the triggers up here so uh, for the trigger it's gonna be visible in game off P triggered by player off triggered by vehicles off trigger triggered by sequencers off and triggered by water off the trigger delay is gonna be one second the trigger VFX are, and sound effects are going to be off. Now we're going to go back down here. And yeah, so we're going to have to do this as well. Okay. No, never mind. These are already set. Okay, cool. Wait. Register. Play. Yeah, okay. So everything's set. So for the player counter, on count succeeds, class selector 4, which is my class selector. Mine's is 4 because how I set it up before this. Um, before the recording, um, change player to team. Trigger 
send events to tr uh, uh, um, on counts exceed send events to trigger to trigger um, on counts exceed send events to player counter register player um, yeah now uh, that's that for that nothing for the billboard for the teleporter uh, make sure it has uh, it's gonna teleport on the trigger when it's triggered and for the trigger to be triggered by the player counter and when it's triggered by the teleporter so um, now you guys are gonna select that 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 and that you're gonna copy it and you guys are gonna paste it for every single time for every team you have so for here we're gonna change this to two and this one's going to be three like that and one more with the teleporter right now but one more thing class selector we're gonna push that to two and we're also gonna push this one to three so now you guys are just gonna move this into your area I'm just gonna the I'm just gonna use my wood box right here and um so this is gonna be t team one because the window weight is one window with team two I'll use my keyboard to mental out if I can there you go um and for team three um we can just um do this so one two and three very interesting three uh but yeah so now let me see oh my friend isn't here i just remembered okay it's okay so for what they left um yeah actually we also need to put the other teleporters in but yeah now if you guys have someone with you it's a lot easier just to, to test um but we're just gonna put the teleporters in our little areas for them so now if we, ooh, I forgot to put the player player spawners um and my game froze I think uh, my game has frozen give me one minute thousand years later okay so we are back and let me add the player spawners oh and there's one more thing I just remembered so uh, for the colors uh, since this is the red lane uh, we're gonna put red so like that and for the yellow we're gonna put yellow right here Okay, and now we add the player spawners. So, um, but let's add our player spawners. Um, just gonna do that. And oh yeah, and then there's one super important thing you guys need to do. Uh, for this to work so let's see so in island settings you guys are gonna go to mode structure and then teams make sure that's custom now um, but yeah once the count succeeds after one second you will be sent to your certain one and you guys can since I'm already in this team, um, I can't be teleported again, obviously. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys. Holy crap, I can't edit. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.